instance, those who promote chemical farming and industrial agriculture started to talk about removing hunger, they have created more hunger. Today we have a billion people who are hungry. We are not producing food for people, we are producing commodities at very high cost. Commodity goes to drive cars as biodiesel and biofuel. Commodities go to torture animals as feed. That is why most of the grain being grown in the world is not being eaten by humans. Humans need food and diversity of food. Our work in India through Navdanya shows that the more biodiversity you have on a farm, the more food and nutrition you have. Since we have less land and we have to feed more people, you've got to intensify ecologically and through biodiversity to maximize nutrition output, not maximize commodity production that goes to run cars and feed animals. The calculations are wrong. Food is food, food is not a commodity. We need to calculate the nutrition, health and quality of food, not the profits of the corporations. But Making money by getting peasants into debt, pushing a quarter million Indian farmers to suicide and a billion people to hunger. The mechanistic mind, the Cartesian mind, has misrepresented scale. It assumes that one big thing is a big scale, rather than recognizing that half of humanity, which is producing 80% of the food today, is a very large scale of a very large network of small farmers. Let's not forget the fact that most of the people on this planet are still farmers. In India, 70%. Let's not forget the fact that they too need to eat. And if they don't grow food that feeds them, if they don't grow food in ways that nourishes the soil. The earth will be starved, families growing food will be starved, which is why most of the hungry people are farmers, and the rest of the poor won't get food. Two billion will get bad food that causes obesity. Scale does not mean corporations taking over the land of this planet through land grab. Scale means millions of productive, diverse, small farms producing more food because small farms and biodiverse farms are more productive. That's the way to move to the future.